seconds and counting. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mission Control. First of all, I'm sorry that this channel has been inactive for such a long time, but as you all know, flat earth debunking has become somewhat of a tedious repetition. So I've kind of been uh, waiting around for something new to demonstrate, and it recently came to my attention that flat earthers find it very difficult to understand spherical excess. Lately, McToon had a debate with Jaren, and it was clear for all to see that Jaren just couldn't wrap his head around how triangles on the globe produce more than 180 degrees. So let's educate the flurfs, as always. I'll start by admitting that spherical excess can be a little hard to comprehend, so I'll try my best to break it down. <clears throat> In this demonstration, I've made a plane and three observers, A, B, and C. All the observers have protractors that are perpendicular to the ground. I can move the observers around as I please, and they automatically aim at each other as I do so. Let's read off the angles from A, B, and C. When we add these angles together, we get 180 degrees as expected. And if we look at this from the top, orthogonally, that is without perspective, we see a two-dimensional triangle that additionally matches the distance between the observers. Now, all of this is happening on a flat surface. So let's make this a curved surface, like the Earth. It's important to notice that the protractors stay level to the ground and they can only pivot horizontally and vertically just like theodolites. Let's read off the angles again. When we add these angles together, we see that it exceeds 180 degrees. That, flurfs, is spherical excess. If we keep a close eye on one of the observers while curving the surface, we can get a better sense of what is really going on. The angle increases as the surface is being curved. And finally, looking orthogonally at this from the top, we can see that the spherical angles are larger than the flat angles. And even more important, the spherical angle, or sorry, spherical triangle, matches the distance between the observers, while the flat triangle gives a faulty result. So basically, the problem arises because the flat triangle is not coplanar with the protractors. In real life, when you measure an angle with a theodolite, you first level the device and then you pivot horizontally between the two points you want to measure. In this case, the theodolites cannot measure a total of 180 degrees and simultaneously be coplanar. Only if the Earth were flat. I believe this was another safe landing for the GLOBE team, so stick around for the next mission.